All right, thanks, Tiffany. Happening now, a woman is killed allegedly at the hands of her estranged husband. CBS 4's Joel Flores was at the scene this morning where it all unfolded. He has our report. This shouldn't have never happened. 26-year-old Chris De Anda and his siblings are heartbroken. Their beloved mother, 49-year-old Yolanda De Anda, killed this morning and their father, 50-year-old Daniel De Anda, in custody in connection with the murder. We're really hurt. She was a big part of this family, the backbone to this family, and to be executed like an animal. Yep. It's hard. I've always loved my mom. My mom's always going to be in my heart and all of our hearts, and everything in this world is always going to be paid. This is the worst feeling ever. According to Westaco Police, a tragic incident happened on the driveway of the property. After the Anda allegedly shot his wife, the Anda then fled on foot towards Railroad Street, where an officer observed him walking with a gun in his hand. He was immediately restrained, uh, placed in the police car. Uh, the weapon was recovered. It turns out to be a 25 caliber semi-automatic. This neighbor, who decided to remain anonymous, saw it all happen right before her eyes. I felt helpless not being able to go over there and help the woman. I wanted to help, but I was scared he'd shoot me too. He didn't understand that my mom was trying to be free. She didn't want nothing to do with him no more, and she was just trying to live her life. Pues ahora no va a dar miedo. This scares me now. I got home from work and saw the police in our neighborhood. The message here is uh, on domestic violence and family violence. It's it better be safe than sorry. If you think that it might lead to some kind of violence, uh, especially something like this, uh, it's better to call somebody, call the police, call somebody else, have a witness. She made sure that the street we were taking was the path that we wanted. In Wasaco, Joel Flores, CBS 4 News and ValleyCentral.com. Very tragic out there. Police are currently still looking for a man who drove off in Deanna's truck. They want help with that investigation.